these holes are where they would have put the coins soaked in vinegar ready and then the people would have come from down there to Stony Middleton up the hill and they would have taken the money and they would have left the supplies so if you imagine this is the 17th century version of click and collect hello and welcome back to another episode of we are the bakers today we are in Eam village over in the Peak District a village whose history dates back to 1665 when the village was ravaged by the Black Plague so today we are going to go and visit the Black Plague Museum, the Boundary Rock, and I'll just have a look at the pure history which is surrounding this entire village and the devastation that the plague caused and the amount of people, unfortunately, it's affected with over half the villagers perishing during the uh, Black Plague. We are parked on the free car park, which is just outside the museum. Um, there is a donation box though at the end, so you can chuck a little bit of money in there to help maintain the car park. It's the same as the museum. Everything which is done here is done for the benefit of the village and maintaining the history. Here's the village stocks. For, where do you stick the village idiots like you? We're locking you up in the stocks, so. There you go. So Say, oh no, I'm trapped. There, help. <laughs> <laughs> The plague came to the village of Eam in 1665 when a tailor from the village ordered a box of materials from London. Unfortunately, the box arrived riddled with fleas carrying the Black Plague, which set off an unfortunate series of events which led to over 260 of the villagers perishing. The Reverend Montpasson realised what was going on and how the plague was spreading, and it was himself which encouraged all the local residents to isolate from the rest of the UK in order to contain the plague within the village. Although this had devastating effect on the village, it also had a huge effect across the rest of the country as we're able to contain the Black Death in the village as best as they can. This story of self-sacrifice is immortalised by the Boundary Stone, a stone which was set outside the village where the villagers would leave money soaked in vinegar and able to exchange this with goods from the local village of Stony Middleton. Here we have the plague cottages. Now, outside of these cottages, it has a little bit of a story to tell you about who lived in there previously and how the plague affected them. As you can see, a lot of these households were wiped out entirely by the Black Death. Twenty-five relatives. These rats. Why are there so many rats? The rats, were rats which spread the plague. Oh, you said it was clothes. No, the fleas. So the fleas from the rats got onto the clothes. See down there, the plague rats. This poor man's going to catch the plague, and so is his missus. But she's like, no, I'm strong, I won't get the plague. Well, not everybody in the village actually did catch the plague, though, Freya. That is what is interesting. Like, you there's one woman and her ki all kids died and her husband except her. Guys, shh, you have to be quiet. I saw a wild parrot and it's huge. That's not a parrot, Freya. You know what you used to do? You used to stick um, petals and flowers down at the end of the nose because they used to think disease come from bad smells. So this was the plague version of this. Well, there's a replica of the boundary stone. What's a boundary stone? Boundary stone, you can go see. Oh, yes, I remember. So, here's the plans to control the spread of disease. Let me say it plain. Here we are, and here we must stay. Wow, prayer. So, this is the role of victims of the plague. So, all of these names. Mom, I want to drink the Oh, yeah? Jeez. So many, isn't it? See what it was like. See in there. So that, that would be one of the stores, what did you develop? For this thing, yeah? There's 76 different houses. If they were red, then you died of the plague. Look at that, the fourth family, that all of them died. If you were green, they survived the plague. If you were yellow, you don't know whether you died of the plague or not. And if they were blue, so I don't know if there's any blue yeah. on here. Yeah, so blue means they, they died, but not of the plague. Look, look at this Talbot house, oh, look, at, look at that, oh my days. And these are the little babies, these little cribs. That's it. I think that kind of 
sums it up, doesn't it, in terms of how much it's affected the village. <laughs> it's a black death, soft toy. <laughs> On the way to the Boundstone, we decided to stop here and we'll have a cup of coffee and some cake. So we're on the way to the Boundary Stone, which is quite a bit of a walk outside the village. Uh, it's on the way to a place called Stony Middleton. Um, and this is the stone where they used to go and they'll drop off coins which were soaked in vinegar in exchange for supplies from the village of Stony Middleton. These holes are where they would have put the coins soaked in vinegar, ready, and then the people would have come from down there to Stony Middleton up the hill and they would have taken the money and they would have left the supplies. So if you imagine, this is the 17th century version of Click and Collect. Chinese takeaway. I don't know if they had a Chinese takeaway though. The story of two lovers, the 1665 version of social distancing. You made us walk all this way, six and one, and I could have just done that. There's no history in them pebbles. <laughs> 